Coronavirus myths continue to spread as health officials locally and worldwide work to contain the virus. Tonight, consumer investigator Steve Sprasia has another installment of his myth-busting segment on COVID-19. The amount of misinformation out there is staggering and shows no signs of abating. So what we do here is to try and bring you the best scientific evidence available to help spike those myths. And here's one that really needs to be leashed. The myth is that dogs and cats can give you COVID-19. Now this one gains traction when it's accompanied by a photo showing a pet that's masked or in protective gear, along with a warning that a dog in Hong Kong was affected. The American Veterinary Medical Association says that a weak positive result for the virus was found in a 17-year-old Pomeranian in Hong Kong, but that test could not distinguish whether the samples contained intact viruses, which are infectious, or just fragments of the virus. Scientists also say it's possible the virus detected on the dog was due to environmental contamination. It's really, really important to understand. In fact, it does not mean contagious. It does not mean it can spread the disease. The current danger, as far as everyone is aware, is human-to-human -human transmission, not dogs. So, as far as your pet is concerned, the CDC, the World Health Organization, and other reputable agencies say there is no evidence at this time that a dog or cat can transmit COVID-19. However, they warn if a person coughs on their hand and then pets your dog, there's the possibility of transmission transmission of the virus if you then pet your dog after the infected person touched it. But medical officials believe the likelihood of that is very low. So if you fear your dog will give you COVID-19 by breathing on you, you're barking up the wrong tree. Here's another myth that you can get coronavirus over and over again. This one started after reports of a woman in Japan being infected twice by the virus. It's now believed that a testing error known as a false negative showed that she had recovered from the virus when in fact she hadn't. The best scientific evidence available at this point indicates those who have had the virus will develop immunity. But because this virus hasn't been around long enough, it's unknown if that immunity is short term or long term. And we have to emphasize, because this virus is so new, more research is needed to determine exactly how long your immunity lasts. Working to bring you the facts, not the fables about COVID-19, I'm consumer investigator Steve Sprasher.